international challenge in a, in a sense. I mean, he's been uh, he's been tearing through the Canadian scene, and now you know finally against a UFC veteran and an extremely powerful striker in Pete Spratt. Yeah, I mean George has got a really well-rounded game. If if he can look impressive against Pete Spratt, that's really gonna you know show the world what he's got. Oh, nice! Right there. I mean, he just shoots it. He's so athletic. That was a beautiful takedown. Now, George is a sick athlete. This guy, I mean, I've seen him do things in the gym that just, uh, do just un, uh, you know, unhuman, uh, unhumane, if you want to say. Uh, he's, he's too much of an athlete put into that body. Uh, he, you know, he's incredible. Right now, he's staying calm, he's staying real tight. He's working a little shots, looking to get in a little bit of a better position, maybe uh, get the uh, cross side, maybe get mount. Yeah, he's just sitting there, like he just overpowered Pete Spratt's legs, and he's just overpowered Pete Spratt to the side position. I mean, Pete is, Pete is a real strong, powerful guy, and uh, George is just, just doing yeah, I mean, he's what he pleased with him. He's basically manhandling him. I mean, it's beautiful side control. He's just taking his time. He's going to wait for his opening and make his move. And the thing is, George, being such an athlete, he always keeps the fight moving. So he doesn't, you know, you don't have to worry about the, the ref standing up. Yeah, for, oh, for there we go. He's going for the mount. He got the full mount. George, I mean, that was, that was so smooth. He looks like he's in a grappling match. George is making it look too easy. This kid is going straight to the UFC, in my opinion. Yeah, he's unbelievable. This is, I mean, this is a great fight for him. Oh, he's a strong guy. He's, get, he's getting up. He's riding on the back. He looks like he's going in, trying to go for a rear naked choke. George's got both hooks in. He's got both hooks completely sank in, and he's holding on to spread. Either he can go for an arm bar for here, he can ride the back, go for chokes. I mean, he's got he's got Pete Spratt at his disposal right about here now. I mean, he is stuck on. He's just taking his time, staying calm. I, I've always been impressed with just how you know George can stay calm. He's he's patient. He's a methodical fighter, and you know he's great standing up and he's great on the ground. And if you know him. Before fights, he's nervous and he's always doubting himself, and he's kind of, you know, he's so hyped and he's, you know, he's he's such a, he's like, a, he's a big puppy dog when he's, you know, but when he gets in the ring, he just transforms into this fighting, like, you know, well tuned machine. Now, do you think George here is going for the rear naked, or he was just riding and he's looking to set something else up? George, uh, you know, George's not a guy that likes to just punish his, uh, you know, he likes the technical side here. I don't think he's, you know, he's ever a fighter that looks to punish anybody. Um, in my opinion, he's gonna look for a submission. He lost his back uh, position. Now he goes to the guard. See, Pete's got some good striking power. He's been here with some pretty good fighters. So, uh, you know, George needs to work his guard, make sure that he uh, he annihilates any of uh, Pete's striking attempts here. Yeah, Pete's looking for some serious bombs. George holding onto his head, not giving him enough distance to load up those punches. George is playing the game perfectly. He's, he's wrapping up the arms. He's controlling Pete's head. He's giving Pete minimal space to swing his, his punches. George doing... Oh! Perfect reversal by George. He's, uh, this guy's got an unbelievable ground game. I mean, he's so, such an athlete that he can he can just make anything happen to, on the ground or standing. Uh, look, I mean, he's not in there with some Bush League fighter. He's in there with a UFC vet. And he pulls off like, a pure jujitsu sweep there. Uh, I mean, he's in there with a, with a fighter who's ranked number four in the world. You know, he just pulled a sweep on him. He's mounted him twice. He's had his back. I, I mean, this is unbelievable. George, this, you know, this, this he's got he's got his back again. George is putting on a clinic. If this goes, if this goes the distance of the round, this round is completely Looks like Pete's going to stand up with him on his back. Oh, George, I, George has got the rear naked. He's, he's sinking in. He's under the chin. He's sinking in. That's it. He's tapping. It's over. Pete Spratt was completely, completely controlled from A to Z in that fight. And you know what? If that choke was there or not, Pete said, screw this, I've had enough. I, I was out. That, George St. Pierre totally dominated that fight. Look, Pete is just sitting there. He, he looks like he can't, I don't even think he can believe it. He's what amazed. Is, he's yeah, he's I amazed. I don't think he, he knew going in what George St. Pierre has in him. And I think he just saw it, and I think the world just saw it. And now we're going to see some amazing things and some amazing fights coming up for George St. Pierre. George St. Pierre is going straight to the top. Yeah, and he's breakdancing the whole way there. I wish he would, really, yeah. honestly. Here we go. This was a beautiful takedown right from the beginning. And then, you know, he just started, right, that was it. That was control right after that. He, he passed his Pete Spratt's guard. He got mount on him. He got his back. I mean, like you said, he was putting on basically like a jiu-jitsu clinic. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. This kid is going right to the top, and I don't think there's anybody who can stand in his way.
Um, here we go. Here's the sweep. I and mean, that is a beautiful textbook sweep. Hook the leg, kick the leg out, brought him right over like butter. Unbelievable. And, you know, set it up, set it up got the back again. He chose to stand up at this point. I, guess, I think maybe he thought he was just going to jump back, get him off his back. But there's no getting George St. Pierre off your back. Now, when he, like he's, he you know, doesn't cross the feet, got the legs in there nice and tight, he got under the chin, and, you know, I don't think Pete was trying to slam him off, Pete was just, you know, Pete was just, he was about to go 90. I think that look on Pete's face says it all, and the look on George's face now as he does his uh, trademark flip at the end. Pretty much says it all too. I mean, that, that that guy is some athlete and some fighter. The only thing that's gonna end George Pierce is him busting his ass trying one of those backflips. No 